Ah, uh, yes, hello everybody and welcome back to my secret lair. Thank you for joining us. So at the time of recording this video, it is actually really cloudy, really rainy, and I feel like that is a really bad omen of things to come. Because today we are going to look at my good old friend Lance Stewart, a Vine legend, the king of Instagram cringe clickbait comedy. He's back in the headlines once again, and this time he has dabbled off into the music industry, and it just so happens that not only has he made some of the worst vines and some of the worst YouTube videos ever, but he's also made one of the worst music videos that I have ever laid my eyes and ears on. <sighs> I don't think you guys are actually prepared for what we're about to witness. And just a quick reminder, if you are new to the channel and you are not subbed to the channel, bro, what are you doing? What are you doing? Sub to the channel, it's very easy. Then you never miss another video from me ever again. The name of the song in question is Lost. I mean, it did find its way onto youtube.com. So my question is, how lost are you really? Um, why don't we find out? So of course the music video had to start with text bubbles. It's not a music video in 2019 if there's not some homage to technology and the way that our lives are being controlled by our smartphones and by the internet and by social media. I mean, OMG bro, it is so deep. Lance really does have his finger on the pulse with this one because yes, we are all way too consumed with our phones. Yes, social media does dictate our lives and uh, apparently Lance Stewart is lost for whatever reason. And I'm pretty sure that all the Android users at this point quit the video, left with their dignity. Kind of wishing that I did the same, to be perfectly honest with you. <laughs> One really big question that I feel needs to be asked is, uh, why is there a question mark? in the word Lance's. Is that a typo or is that there on purpose? Is it like, wow, am I really Lance? A am I really one of the worst content creators on the planet? Uh, 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 so many questions. And also the same song is added twice. You know? I mean, you just need one of the songs. Hey Lance, you're in a car, it probably has a GPS, why don't you just type in a location on the GPS, go to that place, then you won't be lost anymore. That's it, song over. That would have spared us all the torture that we are about to go through. Now I gotta say, the music video itself, it is shot very nicely, like the image quality is great, the editing's fine, uh, it just so happens that the music, the most important part, sounds like it was mixed by a toddler. And the vocals, the most important part of the video, they sound like they were recorded on one of those toy microphones, kind of like this one, that toddlers would use if they wanted to sound like Britney Spears. Like it's got that real crappy T-Pain auto-tune feel to it, but it also sounds like it was recorded in a dumpster. So all of those things put together um, with these genius lyrics makes it sound like the worst thing I've ever heard in my entire life. I'm lost, I'm found. I'm lost, I'm found. Oh, I get it. I understand now he was looking for love and happiness and acceptance and he found it and he just so happened to find it with the big letters L-O-V-E just conveniently placed somewhere uh, for some reason. And again, if he really was lost, I feel like all he needed to do was Google those letters and go to wherever they were. It's almost as if Act 3 has already happened and we're not even a minute into the video and... That's it, there's literally no point for it continuing. I'm just like, okay. But we're gonna bear with him. We're gonna watch this whole thing till the end. We wanna see what other twists and turns are gonna happen in this crazy story so far. I mean, it is like a roller coaster ride, but the roller coaster is like, it's just, actually it hasn't started. It's, it's still in stationary. It's still waiting because there's like a technical error. <laughs> Oh, man. All right. 
One thing that I have to mention about Lance 2110, Lance Stewart, however you know this guy, um, I've been watching his content for a long, long time. I'm talking back to 2013 when this guy was churning out content on the daily on Vine and uh, even throughout his YouTube career as well, I feel like I have seen his nipples so many times. And I'm all for body positivity and everything like that. Uh, you want to show off your body, great, that's perfect. You do whatever you wish. However, I've seen this guy's nipples more times than I can actually remember, and it's not something I've ever wanted, but now I just have to accept that it's a part of my life. Anytime this guy stumbles across my screen, there is a very high chance that I'm gonna see his nipples, and for some reason, we had to see his nipples in this music video. I'm not sure why. Someone tell me why. And then, for some reason unknown to all of us, he just walks out in front of 40 sprinklers and just gets wet. Maybe it's more symbolism. Maybe it's him um, being cleansed of his past and now he's ready to move on to the future. Possibly. I feel like I could be looking way too far into a really, really poor music video, but then again, you never know. <laughs> The next minute or so, nothing really happens. It's just him walking around, him talking, saying that he's lost, and he also had to change his wardrobe like five different times. You wouldn't have to change your wardrobe if you didn't wet yourself in the first place, if you didn't keep wetting yourself, if you didn't keep having to change your look every 20 seconds, uh, you might not be lost. Maybe you're lost because you keep going home to get changed and no one knows where you are because you keep walking into water and getting wet. So he says the words I'm lost and I'm found a lot, a lot, okay? He says it about 200 times, okay? Not even exaggerating. So that's 200 times that the world's quickest missing persons case has opened and closed. Oh, that case, don't worry about that. He was actually found uh, pretty much in the exact same spot he was before. Uh, he was just walking into oncoming traffic talking about how lost he was. I mean, what a waste of taxpayers' money, honestly. <laughs> I think we all kind of get the gist of what this music video is. I mean, the rest of this video is just a sweet montage of Lance looking super angry and super disappointed. He's really channeling that rage that is emitted by six-year-old kids when they die as soon as they land in Tilted Towers. He's really channeling that game of rage. He's punching the wall. He's looking super tough, super fierce. I mean, he's lost. I don't blame him. He's lost. He has no direction in life. He doesn't know where to go. I really hope he finds his way home. I mean, poor Lance. Why doesn't he just ask the person that he's texting to come pick him up? Because he's lost and he doesn't know where he is. So why doesn't he say, hey, I'm lost. I'm near this big love sign. Uh, come pick me up. I've been lost for like two days, uh, even though I've changed my clothes, I'm still lost. I mean, help a brother out. Also, call an Uber. Then we get to the end of the video and we see a mysterious hand that knocks on the door like nobody should ever knock on a door ever. And Lance comes down dressed in all white. I mean, ooh, symbolism again. That inadvertent shower that he took before, it cleansed all the negative energy off him, all the bad memories, all the breakups, all the fake videos and everybody ragging on him. All of that is done and dusted. And now he is going to the door to pick up his Chipotle order from Uber Eats. <laughs> That's how I smile when people bring me food, so I could definitely relate on that level. So after this video was dropped, Lance, he got proper roasted in the comments. I mean, he even went as far as to do a video reading all the mean comments that people did leave. So it shows that he's been a good sport about it. I think he kind of does realize that it's an awful, awful, awful song, and it deserves to be made fun of, but he's saying, ha, look at me guys, I'm cool, I'm relatable, I can laugh at it too. And you know what, I thought, why not join in on the fun? And 
ladies and gentlemen, I think that's about it. About it. Why can't I speak? Thank you so much for joining us. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like, leave a comment, sub to the channel if you are new, and we'll be back with another stupid video very, very soon. And I'll see you again soon. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter as well, Instagram, all that jazz. I'll see you next time, okay? I love you all. Bye-bye.